Hi, and welcome to a Copic Marker coloring tutorial. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we are going to actually color on fabric. Now I was inspired by this new set that is out called Lovin' from the Oven from My Favorite Things. Um, it's this great image you see here in the middle. And this piece I'm going to actually make into a card, um, just isn't all the way done yet. But before I do that, I wanted to make a fun little um, project that goes with it. So what I did is I actually I stamped on fabric. I used VersaCraft uh, chocolate ink and heat set it with my iron so it's ready to go. So when you're coloring with fa on fabric, it's a little bit different than coloring on paper as there is uh, weave, natural weave in the fabric. Try and use a high thread count cotton and uh, and then your colors don't spread quite as much. So um, here I'm going to take my E21 marker and I'm just going to work on my lightest area first which would be her skin and when I'm coloring on fabric I work kind of in the middle and I add some ink and I kind of wait for it to spread and then when I need to add more ink I just add a little more and wait for it to spread because it'll spread quite quickly on you and so I often I'll color down the middle of an object wait for my ink to spread on me and then touch it some more where you need to fill it in right to the line. So it's different than coloring on paper whereas you want to go right to the edge and you are using shading and colors. I don't do a lot of shading when I am coloring on fabric just because the more ink you add the more it spreads so, and always work under a, over a protected surface, just a white piece of paper, um, because definitely, especially on fabric, the markers will pick up whatever you have underneath, and so you definitely want clean white paper under there so you're not going to get any funny looks in your project. So, that's her skin. And I go up and I touch it at the, up at the very end a little bit later. So moving on to her, uh, let's see, let's do the bowl. Now the bowl, that's, that's going to be very tricky. In this project that you saw here, I did my bowl in a red. And reds, if you know Copic markers at all, um, can really get away on you and um, spread very quickly. So you have to be very light with your hand with the red markers. So I am going to start with R27 and I'm just going to start in the middle and just wait and let it let it go. Now if you find that your color spreads beyond your stamped image line do not try to fix this with a blender pen because what it'll do is it will make a little pool of ink that the red will go on, want to go and play in your pool of ink. So in this case, uh, it's different than paper where you do not want to try with your blender pen. Now I want to have a little bit of color variation in here. So I'm going to try just to add a little of this R39. It's my deeper red down towards the bottle, bottom of this bowl. It could be a little tricky because you get close to that skin tone color, but I just wanted to add a little bit of that deeper color down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to come back with my R27. And I'm not worrying too much about running into that spoon because that spoon I'm just going to go over top of later with a dark uh, Spica glitter pen. So I'm not going to be as concerned. And see how you just kind of work slowly, creeping closer and closer to the edge. And you can use this re a really light touch. That's why I love the, the brush tip. Just lets you ever so slightly touch. 
And we're just going to leave the red and let that settle for a little bit. Um, and uh, let's try out the apron. Here the apron I'm going to play with a couple of colors. I'm going to play with E25. E25, I'm just going to start by rubbing in the middle. See how I just cover the middle and then wait and watch it spread. I think it's okay if you have a little bit of a linen-y look on the edges too if you don't want to go right to the very edge. Oh, and don't forget the top of her apron. So you get the idea. So I just wanted to show you that you can use your markers on definitely more than just paper and uh, fabric is one of my favorite things to color on. So thanks for joining me and uh, I'll show you the project on my blog. I'll post a link and you can check it out when, uh, when it's there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.